Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, you beautiful motherfuckers of the internet. It's IggyWBlaze91. Anthony Hable here. And for another video. And this is, the, and it is the 25th of December. Meaning that it's once again Christmas Day. So. Hope you've all been very good children this year. I know I have. Honest. As we're going to be taking a look at some Christmas presents that I've gotten. So. And of course I've gotten my lovely Christmas hat. <laughs> I wish I could tell if I'm gotten my Oh I can see the Christmas hat, yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, that was exciting. Anyway, let's not waste any more time. Let's just cut straight to the presents I've gotten. Alright, so I'm gonna Go for the ones that are closest to me, on my hand. First of all, just to make my life easier, I'm going to be talking about the and clothing first, and then the gaming stuff second. So anyway, first of all, I got some nice aftershave. Although this one, although, although the tin in this one is, a, is awful. Ball in it is nice, but this, this tin here is a pain in the ass and it never wants to stay on. It's probably broken. Uh, oh well. <sighs> and then I got some deodorant and shower gel. Shower gel, yeah. Good. Then I got a new shirt, which is nice. Some new and some new shoes, which I'm gonna need. Cause my old ones are getting because my old ones are coming apart. Then again, they're old, so what the heck do I expect? But now we get to the important bit, the gaming. Now, what did I ask for for Christmas? One of them is the obvious. A new Call of Duty game. In this case, it's Call of Duty Vanguard. Where it is a World War II Call of Duty game. First Call of Duty World War II game that happened since... The 2017 Call of Duty installment, Call of Duty World War, World War II, which was by Sledgehammer, and this one is by Treyarch. I'm seeing videos of this, and this is actually not bad. Multiplayer, it's actually not. Multiplayer is what you'd expect from a Call of Duty game. But it functions, and it works. Unlike Battlefield 2042. 2040, whatever, 2040 something, whatever. Which that game is a pile of garbage that is broken and buggy. And this one actually has a campaign. Multiplayer, zombies, yep. And I got in the the bonus Call of Duty Endowment Gift of Honor. Yep. Mm, pretty not pretty neat. Pretty neat. Right, the next and the next game I asked for something I would something I was not expecting to see, but it is Nerf Legends on PS4. Now I was just suddenly browsing through the list of games that were coming out. 
And when I was preparing a presentation for my classmates, I was I was just browsing through the list of games, and then I just suddenly come across this game, which was a Nerf game. And I was just like, wait, a Nerf game? And a first, and it's a first-person shooter. That almost would have reminded me of something. And it is. Give me a moment. I'll let you have a look. Not my thing. Yeah. Oh, I can't. I'm gonna need to get it up. I'll just use this instead. I'll, uh, I'll let you look at this while I go get it. Nerf Legends actually would have reminded me of something else. Of another Nerf game I got. The PC. Found it. This one. Nerf Arena Blast for the PC. So to see a Nerf game like this. Would actually be quite, would actually be quite good. I'm actually, so I thought to myself, you know what? I'm getting it. A nerf game and a nerf first person shooter, nerf blasters from the what is it? Nerf elite, nerf nerf and strike elite, nerf mega, and I think also the nerf and strike elite 2.0 blasters. I figured, eh, there's no way I can pass as the opportunity to get this. So I figured, yeah, why not? I'll get it. And then of course, I obviously asked for a points card because I figured I'd get some digital games. And pick up some cheap, easy to pick up games that have easy platinum trophies. So I can boost up my trophy collection. And the next thing I got, and the next thing I got was a pack, some hunter spy, some hunter spider headphones, gaming, a, and it's a pro gaming headset. For both for the PS1, PS4, sorry, Switch, tablet, computers, computers, Xbox One. And, and yeah, it looks pretty neat. Those headphones look nice. I think they glow in the dark as well. They plug into game controller. They look nice, they do. I'm having a look at the box here. I'll be giving this I'll be giving this I'll be giving this device um a good luck once I set it up. But the most important one which I did ask for was, I kid you not, this is what I've been wanting the whole year for. If you guys remember the announcement, the video I made on the Xbox, the 20th anniversary Xbox video where I gave a celebration and birthday treatment to the, into the Xbox brand of consoles. Well, I've gotten the Hyperkin Duke controller for the 20th anniversary of Xbox consoles. Holy hell, 20 years since the very first Xbox came out. And this is a reference. And this has got the design look of the very first Xbox controller. And by that, I'm, I'm talking about the heavy back control, controller. And I'm going to bring it to you guys. As much as this video, because the one I'm using is on my PC. Here it is, right here. There it is, the do the old-fashioned Xbox controller, otherwise known as the Duke controller. 
and has nicknamed the Duke Controller because of how absolutely beefy this pad is. But it's still pretty neat though, I love it. I love how unorthodox it feels. And it feels, yep, very, very comfy in hands. And I, in my adult hands. And remember when the uh, when this control when the very first Xbox came out, when the, when we were given this controller, many people hated it. It was too uncomfortable, and especially for kids. And so they asked for a re for a redesign of the Xbox controller, which was smaller, much more easier to hold, hold, and it was a good controller for kids and. It was then when finally the, um, the Xbox con first Xbox console would sell in Japan, would finally be sold in Japan. When it was a fledgling console. So, this is the X, so this is the mighty Duke controller. What, in all its Hyper King glory. Hyper King made a re revision revision of the Xbox um, Do controller back in 2018 and now here is the 2020 edition 2021 edition sorry specifically designed for the Xbox for not only not only the Xbox Series SX but also the Xbox one and also the PC for Windows 10 and I don't have an Xbox One or an Xbox Series SX. All I got is an is the Xbox 360, like I told, like I said before. And, and the only way I'm going to use this device is on my is on my computer. So, shall we get on with unboxing these damn things? Not very easy to do with just one hand. Oh, whew, that's one. That's using one. And oh, there's two. Okay, here we go. As both of these little tape removed and ooh. and the box is open and this and wow look what we got here inside all of this there's the controller that's upside down turn it over and you're given the what I assume is the Hyperkin sticker so you can stick it on your console or whatever a play well thank you for your purchase we have the links to their websites or their channels on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and what I'm probably assuming is MySpace. I don't, I don't know. I don't use any of those besides Facebook and YouTube. And here's the sticker that says, and you guys got this leaflet that says thank you for purchasing the Hyperkin Duke for the Xbox Series XS, Xbox One and Windows 10 PC wired controller for your safety, safety and the safety of others. Please carefully read this guide 
before using this product. It says plug the provided type C cable into the type C port located on the top of the Hiken Duke controller. Plug the other end of the cable into the available USB port of your Xbox, consoles, PC, whatever. An animation will begin to play inside the Xbox button. Once it has finished playing, you can play it again by pressing the Xbox button. Logo will present as long as the Hubbikin Duke is plugged into the console or PC. The bumpers, LB and RB, mirror the function of the black and white buttons. As we will show. So let's look at the beast itself in all its glory. Now, for starters, my one is white. The one I would have wanted was the black one, but the only one I can get was the white one. But that's fine. As long as I get the controller, that's fine by me. And have a look at it. Wow. Look how eat this thing looks so it's good so that is so this is the uh, the 20th anniversary revision of the of the xbox do controller and it actually feels really nice on my thumbs on the standard thumb grips it's using yep so you've got all the buttons you've got the sticks the two sticks the d-pad mm, the d-pad is what you'd expect you got the what I'm assuming is the Xbox button uh, what I'm assuming is the, the the button that's you normally used for bringing up the guides and such whatever start button the back button then you got the right stick left and right sticks you got the buttons yep the layout the black and white buttons the LB the LB and RB and your two trigger buttons and a nice slot to put your um your type C USB into the into the thing. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> oh. And a slot for plugging in your um your headphones. Which I got right here. Now for what I've been reading up, you can't use this thing wirelessly, which is the biggest which is a big disappointment, but It does come with a very neat cable. Oh yeah, the cable does look very greenish. Mm, very, very authentic type C cable. Actually plug that in. I'll eventually plug that in in a moment. But let's see what else it's got inside. Oh. Oh, there's a silica gel. Some silica gel. Why would they put this in there? Seriously. And I think there's something else it's missing that you can make. There's something else as well. And it is once we get once I get into the packaging, we got a controller stand. Yep, there is a stand for the thing that you can put into it. All right, that is, that is all that is inside this box. So, that is the controller stand. Where, where it actually has, a, we ha, actually has pieces where you can put a stand together and... Oh, you 
know what? I'm just um, going to down there because I need to eat. I need to do this. Apologize for that, but here it is. I've gone in. I'm going to little thing open. I'm just going in on this side. All right. There you go. There you go. That was a warning. <clears throat> yeah, keep out children, whatever. Now it's in there. So you got the pieces, you got these little pieces here, and you got... all right. So here we oh, you got the pieces, yeah, these and this, and what you're supposed to do is put these uh, together to make the stand. So I'm just going to take this, see what I can do. Go and can it? Can I get this in? Or is it not? Or have I done this wrong? Seems to go in, so it does look like I've done it. I at least I believe I put it in right. Well, unless I put it in wrong. Unless it's meant to go the other way. So it was, so it's meant, so this is meant to go this way, at least. Does it contain instructions how to put it up? I don't think it does. It's because, like, I'm assuming this, is has, this has to be the right way to put it. Oh 
god, that silicon gel just smells awful. Why they put the gel in with, with that is beyond me. Oh well. There's nothing else. I'm assuming this is the correct um, way to put it. Yeah, apparently this is, I think, is what's correct. Let's try and put it on here. Wow. Look at that. So, what do you think? Looks cool. Got my own, uh, I've got my own little Xbox Duke stand. Very exciting, very exciting stand. I can still use it while it's on there. Now, importantly, there's a button here. And we'll see what that button does when we set it up. So, would you like to see what it actually does? Let's plug her in and find out. Okay, jump cut. We have now moved on to my PC where i am gotten <clears throat> the USB plugged in and set up on the controller. And I've also... Oh, uh, this here, ready to plug it into my console. To my PC, sorry. So, we're going to plug it in and see what happens when it does. Here we go, this will be exciting. There you go, see? The little screen has come on. See? And what that does, that screen there turns on and it boots up the, the animation where it play, where it, it is the, the original Xbox um, boot up animation. And you can press this button here again and it'll play it. Really neat. Pretty cool, ain't it? So all the buttons here. So it, so that's all it, it basically is. And why the thing is so expensive is because it plays that Xbox logo animation. And as long as the USB, as long as it's plugged in through USB, the con the controller will work. So then. Shall we try a game on the, my PC? I am got much installed. I'll probably install a game on here. But we'll just install a game. We'll just go on the Game Boy Advance. And then I'll just go off screen here to... Alright, here we go, we got a game going. I've set up the controller now, the buttons. So now we're ready to start playing and seeing this device in action. I've chosen here Doom. 
and I should probably should be trying this with the with probably a source port or the PC versions, but shut up, leave me alone. I haven't got much installed here. But this is just to show off the functionality of the device itself and then seems the buttons seem to feel seem to be working. And plus, I'm only here to show you functioning, and it seems, yep, yeah, buttons feel buttons are working. And don't worry about the sound effects. That's the game itself. And it feels pretty good. This is very awkward trying to play this in one hand. To feel playing, playing something like this on a do controller feels very feels very good. <laughs> but, well, honestly, this is awkward trying to play this with one hand, but definitely playing it by myself. I'm sure playing this on my own, like off camera, this is brilliant. Right, let's finish this up. Oh, goodness me. Anyway, let's um, hop, hop ourselves back to the bed then, shall we? There we go, we're back at the bed again. So, let us unbox my two other games, which is Nerf Legends and Call of Duty. And while I unbox it, I'll let you have a look at my Do Controller. So yeah, that's the Do Controller. It actually does look pretty comfy. It's comfy on the hands. I really like. <laughs> I really like how it's just like how. Like just like the very first old Xbox controller, I remember as a kid it did feel very natural. The Xbox Two controller did feel very quite natural. It was very, it was a very unorthodox controller, but it, but it, but it has a place in the in the FPS scene. Like it would feel comfortable for shoot first person shooters, first person shooters, all your competitive games. But it wouldn't feel good for playing 2D platformers, especially with a D-pad. Where it's sometimes you have a tough time trying to pull off a Hadouken in Street Fighter. Oh my goodness, the quality ones are pain in the ass.
Here we go, finally done with the packaging. Here it is. Mm, here it is. Game. That's all the. That's all the leaflets, which I'm assuming is. Yep, it's all the pass. It's all the pass, yep. And then there's the Legends, which has nothing but the disc itself. So, I think that's all it, right? I've got the controller and the games I wanted, right? Not yet. Because we've got one more present. And it is... Yep. I got myself a pair of ridiculous amount of hungry, hungry half attachment. And they're all in the silicon floor. And they're all similar to what I've got before on the on this controller, right? So I figured because I like them. Regardless, here it is, and I've ordered it and I got in a set of. I think there's almost like a. Must be like 10 of them, honestly. Alright, so there's one sack. There we go, third stack. I'll just put them I'll just put them all here. The three set of them. There's a third stack. We got Let me find a yep, we got fourth set. And we've got a fifth.
Six. Seven. And eight. I got... I got eight sets of them. Eight sets of these thumb of these little thumb grips that you can put onto different controllers, including your including this new one here, which I'll eventually set up soon. And also my old controllers. And I do want to put these ones onto my new controllers because I always wanted to find um, some grabs that are close to that of the PlayStation and some of these ones here yeah, I can have them I can have them closer to that of the PlayStation grips just with a little bit of some tiny dots on there and yeah with eight of them that this is a good this is a good setup So now I'm perfectly ready to set my grips up. No, I think these one, I think these white ones to go fine with them. Fine with this one. So there we go. We've gotten. So that is basically it for my Christmas, for my Christmas um, video. I hope you guys. All I got, and that is basically all I got. And so the one last and tiny thing I'm gonna do is off keep on screen is choose one of my favorite grips and put a little tissue on them, and then put my grip on there so I can have some rather comfortable grips to have on my controller, feeling much more close to the. PlayStation thumb grips that I like. So, I got everything that I wanted. Did you guys get what you wanted? I sure hope, I sure hope you did. If you were good kids, that was. And if you, if you weren't good kids, you, you truly deserve a lump of coal. So, but regardless, Hope you all enjoyed this video, as I enjoyed having to make this for you. There have been some off-screen stuff happening, but oh well. I'm just in a bit of space, considering all these all these presents are in the way. But I'll start kind of doing that. And sorting things out. But regardless. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope you all had a nice Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody. And I look forward to seeing you all in the new year. Goodbye.